Frank, a big day for you? It is, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's the most exciting part about it for you? Um, you just see the look on the guys' faces. Uh, hopefully I can impact them. Hopefully I can get those guys some money, some awareness uh, for the city about what NIL actually is. Uh, hopefully get some people to donate and help out the UTSA football team. What do you think your biggest message is going to be to, I guess, the potential donors? Um, basically that, you know, we're not out here to try to make these guys millionaires, trying to get those guys a little bit of extra money in the pocket, whether that's to pay some, some rent, uh, car note, phone bill, something like that. Um, this is a big part of college football on today, so we want UTSA to grow like we all want them to grow. It's a big part whether you want to accept it or not. Um, so whatever it is, uh, we'd love to, to talk about it, uh, whether it's $250 a month, $200 a month, or whatever it is. Uh, it'll be impactful, and uh, both parties will benefit from it. You know, me and Coach Shaw talked about this a few years ago. You know, football didn't work out. Um, trying to do something potential like this. And, uh, you know, on my foot, you can see, uh, that's my 11th surgery. So, uh, you know, once I got that, it was kind of slightly late. I don't know if football is going to anymore. Um, I just prayed about it. I just think God put this in, uh, in front of me. Um, I think it's not going to serve my purpose and give them back a little better place to get back in. The place I played at, the same as every two years. Coach Trevor is a great role model. Um, basically trying to set up lunches, uh, whatever it is, you know, golf, tournament, whatever, whatever it is. I'm trying to connect with people, trying to explain to them what NIO actually really is. And uh, hopefully the whole party can benefit from it. The guys are not going to just going to accept money. They're going to go out there and do something. It's not a profit or whatever. I don't want those guys to do uh, to receive the money. So uh, really, I'm not going to be working. That's kind of how I look at it. i got to be doing this, uh, giving back to the community without getting paid um, for it. So making this kind of our career. Um, uh, Yeah, I was going to ask you, this is like a paid full-time business that you can do kind of as a career? Uh, this is my career, and I'll be the vice president of the city council. So, definitely make a living out of this. Um, everything comes with it. Um, so we definitely need to do it. What's the biggest challenge right now that you see in the early stages of this uh, process? I can't walk, so that's why I'm not explaining it. I'll probably say a lot of people are not educated on what NIL really is. Um, like I said, we're not here to make these guys millionaires. We don't just give them money just because they're on a football team and they're good football players. They gotta go out there and work for it. Whether it's working at Comic Con, um, you know, that Bob puts on, uh, whether it's going to the food bank, um, whatever it is, you know, guys are just not gonna just receive money and just refuse uh, to work like that. Um, and I think a lot of people don't really understand that fully, so I'm kinda here to bring awareness to that and however I can. And uh, it takes everybody. So I'm just here to ask Antonio to, to help us out. We want to get to we want to get UTSA to where we want to go. Um, this is a big part, part of it. Did coaching ever come into your thought process about what you want to do You know, I've always said I don't want to coach, uh, but you know, I kind of had a couple opportunities. Um, you know, my parents always said that I, I don't think I'd, they don't think I'd be a good coach. I don't got the patience. That's my parents tell me. You know, my brother is a coach. Uh, and my sister's a coach as well. Um, but like I said, I just thought my whole heart was uh, to give back. You know, how could I do that? So this opportunity presented itself with a no brainer. Still staying around football. Um, the business has to be a good Give back to my teammates. Um, I think they can benefit a lot from it. Hopefully I can go out there and help those guys do that. I'm excited just to start. Frank, do you guys have a, like a goal, a financial goal you want to hit? It is. You know, we're last right now financially. Um, we got some guys in the conference. Um, their, their budget just for recruiting is $2 million. Um, I don't know if I'm able to put this on the record, but uh, we are not nowhere near that. So uh, over we go out there and compete with those guys, um, a million would be good. So whether that's one person writing a million dollars, uh, we'd appreciate that. Uh, there's a lot of people writing $100, $100 a month. Uh, it'd be beneficial. So whatever we could get, whatever we could uh, raise, um, I think a million puts us in the ballpark. Uh, we weren't even there last year. That's why we're losing guys. And in the future, it's going to keep happening if we don't get the money that we need uh, for recruiting purposes. Um, I've been on this for a while. Uh, about, I got, I just got off of my scooter. I was on my scooter for two weeks, so I was on this for like a couple days. Um, so it's a little weird, you know, not being able to walk. But uh, other than that, I just love, I love it. I, I love football. I love everything about me. I think it's something. We won't find it. 
watch the Red Wings, respect it, trying to mentor some of the guys on the team, and, you know, go full, full dive in, so that's what I'm doing now. Do you miss it at all? You think you're having a second thought? Or you feel now, I'm definitely not going to have a second thought. I'm going to miss it for sure, you know, just to play the Red Wings. Um, I've been doing it my whole life, you know, it's going to be different, you know, seeing those guys going out there the spring ball, you know, me watching the games from the stands, you know, I really can't go in at this time, I'm not hurt, I just can't play no more. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for it, you know, 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 I'm excited Yeah, hopefully, you know, I, I don't want to shoot nobody's dreams down, but just show people, especially in the black community, you know, all we know is sports, whether that's NFL or NBA. Um, I just want to show guys that there's another career, you know, out there besides making it to NFL or NBA and uh, bring in a career, make money, and do other things like that on the business side of things. Well, you're not putting a body on the line and stuff like that. So um, I just want to show these guys, it's all about relationships, how you carry yourself outside of football. It's not all about football. Like, I'm 24 years old. Football is done for me. Um, some of these guys might not, may, may get the opportunity to play at the next level. Some may not. Just to show those guys how they carry themselves outside of football, being a good person, being a character of God, um, giving back to the community, be respectful. That takes you a long way. And uh, hopefully that can impact somebody and uh, let them be beneficial and uh, successful whenever they're doing football. Frank, just knowing that you're from here and knowing the impact you have on this community, is it for you to know that you get an opportunity to stay here and keep growing this community and, and this team? And this oh family? man, it means a lot. You know, all my family live in San Antonio, um, so definitely I was gonna stay here one way or another. Um, so it's a perfect position for me um, to give back. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm gonna be working at all. I feel like I've been going out talking to people my kind of my whole life, um, trying to represent UTSA the best that I can. And uh, now I'm representing UTSA football and city fans as well. So um, I'm definitely excited for it. Hopefully we can benefit from it. Hopefully I can bring some awareness and uh, get some money for these guys and keep everybody here. I was going to ask you about San Antonio. It's a special place. It's like a small, big town. You know what I mean? I, like, yeah, so do you feel like maybe there's some untapped resources out there, like different areas that the program could reach out to now? Um, I don't know. You know, yeah. uh, that's probably going to be part of one of my jobs, uh, to go out there and figure out um, who these people are, yeah. um, bring some awareness to these people. I know a lot of people are not aware of what it is and how both parties benefit from it. Some people think it's just them donating money and yeah. that's all it is. Um, that's definitely not what it is. Hopefully I can benefit um, some people in whatever way I can. And I can bring some awareness to it so everybody can you know, benefit from it. Yeah, how excited about you about this new chapter? I'm excited. Um, like I said, I told Bob I've been playing football my whole life. So I never had a weekend kind of to myself unless we had a bye week. So um, knowing I can hang out with my friends on the weekends, I can watch some football, kind of sit back take a deep breath, be a normal person for a little bit uh, without football because I love football. Uh, it's definitely maybe the person that I am today, but I'm more than just a football player. So yeah. finally putting that chapter down and uh, moving on from it, I kind of can see life from a different lens and I'm definitely excited for it. One football question for you. How did Owen look in the bowl game and what do you, how do you think he's going to do this year? Man, he did great. I was excited for him. You know, uh, he had two picks early yeah. in the game, um, but you know, I had three picks in games. Yeah. You know, he was always there for me. Tell him to relax, keep my, keep my poise, keep playing football. So whenever he did that, roll was a flip. I went up to him, told him, relax, play football. And, you know, he's so poised. Uh, he knew that already, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I was just there to be his biggest cheerleader. And uh, whether that's him or whether that's another quarterback um, that accepts the role this year that, that, that gets it, I'm going to be the biggest cheerleader for them. I'm hoping to take our guys to the next level and win a common championship. How big can this program get? I mean, the playoff is expanding, and, you know, what's the what's the ceiling for this program, you think? Uh, the ceiling's unmatched, um, but this is one of the biggest factors is NIL. Trying to go get those recruits, trying to keep guys here. Um, if we have a great we have a great talent here. Somebody sees one of our guys who's really good that can offer them X amount of money. I mean, we're kids. What do you think they're going to go out there and do? If we can't afford to give them, you know, nothing really to a certain extent um, so that's really a big part of what today's college football is so that's what I'm here for to try to change that narrative get some guys some money so they can all stay here and we're going to take this program to the next level
All right, thanks, Frank. Appreciate it. Thank you.